Hey YouTube, Anthony here. I'm currently sewing tie-outs on a stack of rectangle tarps I made from extra wide sill poly. There are several methods of sewing tie-outs on these tarps. I'm using a box stitch on half inch grow grain and fast tech D-rings. I'm going to start by measuring my grow grain and cutting. Making sure of course to seal the ends. Then I'll go ahead and fold it in half. Okay, and then I'm going to mark one inch over, just a small mark, with a chalk pencil that will come right off. Okay. I'm going to insert my D-ring. Okay, I'm going to line everything up. And then I'm going to use the sewing clips to hold everything together so it doesn't shift as I'm sewing it. And coincidentally, these are fantastic also for holding uh, the reinforcement patches in place uh, when I'm sewing them. So now I'm going to line everything up. This is where I like it. And you can feel the other side underneath too, so I'm going to make sure that they're both on top of each other. This one. For my box stitch, I like to triple stitch each end of the grow grain independently then I'll go ahead and finish the box with the X through it. So I'm going to go ahead and sew on this end of the grow grain and I can feel the bottom underneath it. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and throw one more row of stitches triple tack right down here on the end. Okay. Go ahead and remove the clips. I'm going to trim my upper and lower threads so it doesn't get caught in any of the stitching. Okay, then I'll go ahead and finish my box stitch. Uh, one of the reasons why I like to do it this way is because um, I, I get triple stitches on both ends and then I don't have to turn the tarp quite as much uh, while I'm sewing the box stitch. This is a good time to trim this upper thread right here. And then trim up the bottom threads. And that is my box stitch. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the side tie outs. Measure. Cut. Seal, fold, mark, D-ring, line 
line it up. Clips. Okay. So for the first line of stitches on the side, I like to line it up with the row of stitching on the rolled hem. And I just kind of get it where I like it. Again, use the uh, the chalk line as a guide so they're all even. And um, since I'm putting it on the stitch line, it's okay if I go over uh, one stitch in either direction. I'm going to go ahead and throw one more row right here. Again, this is a good time to trim your upper threads, if you have any. I love the automatic thread cutter, but you still have to trim after. Okay. Take the clips off and do the same thing as the corner tie-outs. I'm going to finish up my box stitches. Try to keep your fabric as flat as possible in this area and try not to get any fabric caught underneath the needle. Threads. And I'm done with that. Um, now when I'm done with the tarp, I always go around, make sure I wipe off any chalk marks I put on it and finish cleaning up the threads. If I have to take a lighter a couple areas to clean it up a little, I will go ahead and do that very carefully. So that's how I'm sewing tie outs on this batch of tarps. There of course are other ways to sew tie outs. Um, I'll go over some of those in, in other videos. I'm Anthony, thanks for watching, take care.